All right, students, how's it going? This is Mr. Mugia. Um, for today's uh, assignment, if you're in Math 1, you're going to do an Adobe Spark uh, presentation in these two slides. So the way to get to Adobe Spark is you go to Clever. Um, you have a Clever link somewhere on your desktop. And you're going to go down to where this it says SP here. Okay, that's Adobe Spark. Um, you're gonna you're gonna go to uh, choose an account. You're gonna go to Enterprise ID. If this pops up, you're gonna do a company or school account, and you're gonna use your Google Apps account. Okay, um, let me show you what I mean. Watch this window that pops up. So you're gonna choose whatever option gets you to the your use your Google Apps account. And then you're, this is the home screen. Um, this is like a little slideshow videos that you can make. And your video that you're going to make is only going to be at least two. You can have more than two slides, but you need at least two slides. One for the, the area of one of the faces of your solid that you made, and another for the volume of, the, of, of your solid. Just tell me them with a picture. Uh, let's see here. So what you'll, what you'll do is you press plus because you're going to make a new. We can just go to slideshow right here. Uh, go to slideshow video. Skip this part where it says every great story starts somewhere. Just skip that. Um, and that's, it's going to ask you what kind of slideshow do you want to do. Um, go all the way to the right. Click to the right and it says make up your own. Pick this one. Okay. Um, and basically what you're gonna do is, uh, watch this video here. It shows you how to use Adobe Spark. It's very easy to use, watch. So you're gonna put, you put videos, icons, text on any slide. It's a slideshow with time, and there's time. Um, it's all saved to your, so you can add in text, manipulate text, things like that. So you can reorder your slides. It's very easy to use. It's very user friendly. That's like a theme. You want green, black, red. Um, what white screen or narrow screen? Add your voice. You're gonna need, you're gonna need to add voiceover to yours. And you can add also add music. Okay. It's pretty easy to use. You can share it to any type of social media once your thing's done. Um, so that's that's that. Um, it says okay, I'm ready. You're gonna add you're gonna add a photo of your. You're gonna have to upload a photo. Or actually, you could take a photo. Uh, you're going to take a photo of your the solid that you made. Remember, you made a prism uh, yesterday. With that prism, you're going to upload a, uh, a picture of it onto this slide, and you're going to record your voice and tell me what the area of one of the faces are. Okay? And then you'll go to the next. This You'll add a slide. And then upload the same picture, but this time with the cubic centimeters inside the prism. And tell me what the volume is, how many cubic center, centimeters uh, makes up the volume of that that's that uh, item or that solid that you made. And that's it. Make sure you keep this as the credits. Double click and you can, you can add your own credits because you created this slideshow. Um, Notice the music is up here. You can add any type of music. Um, if you want to record your voice, just press this and it records the voice. The theme, what kind of theme do you want? What kind of color and theme? Um, layout right here. You want a square screen or a wide screen? It's up to you. And that's basically it. Okay. Um, once you're done, share it. Share. Um, let's see, I think this is how you share, right? Yeah, you'll share this onto Google Classroom. Share this link so I can go and watch your video. 
You can make more than two slides, but you need at least two slides because you need the area of one of the faces and then you need the volume. But if you want to elaborate some more on your, your slideshow, that's up to you. Okay? And that'll be it.